By now, we all have been outraged by the circumstances in which parents have been separated from their children. Many members have visited facilities in districts and along the border where these separated children are being housed by the Office of Refugee Resettlement or through a contractor. And we've seen the stories about former Walmart spaces being converted into facilities to house unaccompanied minors. Moreover, we've all seen the devastating pictures of young children being put in circumstances where they do not appear to be receiving the attention and care that a young child needs. So this amendment is pretty simple. It would limit the circumstances in which our federal agencies can house children in large-scale facilities of tent cities. It also spells out the types of situations that we should be prioritizing small-scale nurturing situations where these traumatized children receive the care they need. And it directs the Office of Ref Refugee Resettlement to increase their family reunification services. Many children put in these circumstances are already traumatized by the conditions in their countries of origin or in the process of being separated from their parents. We should not be making the situation worse. This amendment is particularly needed because despite the apparent end of forcible family separation, the Department of Defense is preparing to house up to 20,000 new unaccompanied minors and military bases. This is deeply disturbing. We don't need to place children in huge warehouses or in tent cities. If a child arrives in this country unaccompanied or is forcibly separated from their parents by the administration, then we need to ensure that they are cared for in a loving, compassionate manner. Smaller is better in these cases. There was a recent story of a small child who was reunited with his mother after 85 days. It appeared that he had not been bathed during that time. He was covered in lice. This type of neglect is what happens in large-scale situations. We need to put an end to this type of treatment, and, to, and that is what this amendment seeks to do. By the way, I work with the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops on this amendment, and I want to make sure every member here knows that they support it. I urge you all to do the same. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Our nation has at times made mistakes. This time it's making a huge mistake. We should be behaving in a way that says that people should be out of camps, not actually creating camps ourselves in this country. Uh, this is one of our darkest moments. The world is watching, but more importantly, the children are hurting and the parents are hurting, and we as a country are hurting. So I would hope that you would uh, support my amendment, and if not, that we can continue to work on this.